he kidnapped him. Mm -hmm. I'm like, where the baby? And she said he took him. I said, what the fuck you mean he took him? I'm drowning. I'm drowning. I'm drowning. I'm drowning.
and go to jail because I ain't supposed to get your ass off. And he was like really telling me to go over there to check on her, but don't go over there and act crazy. And me, I already had it plotted in my head that I want to fucking fight. So I'm just like, well, we can fucking should fight. So bitch, I loaded up the car, bitch, with me Literally. and the motherfucking gun. Bitch, let's go. You want to fight? Let's fight. I opened my, she come to my house, like, it was really quick. Like, and we don't really, at this time, we didn't really live too close. But yeah. she came quick than a motherfucker. <laughs> right and I had like this my blue African gown on so I had to put it under my African gown to be able to walk with it because you know people see guns and want to call the police and shit mm -hmm. but see we dealing with a whole nigga here like be for real like I'll shoot the shit out of you so I go to her house and then I had when I got in I went to the table I'm looking like he really broke the fucking chair it was totally fucking and I just pulled the gun from under my dress and I say, like it was the sun <laughs> Right, I'm gonna just let it build up for a little yeah. while. 
Mm -hmm. I can't believe he took my baby Zeddy. Like, mm -mm. so from then on, we was on a mission to get my Zeddy back. Because I, I was, I stayed at Nikki house for about like a good two to three weeks. Like, because you know, I work from home and I was able to work from home and everything, you know, being here. So we was here, me and my daughter, um, Nevaeh, she wasn't in school at the time. So, you know, we were good over here or whatever. And then I wanted, this is what, remember he had logged into my uh, Facebook. I mean, oh my, my God. <laughs> Yes, again, I'm gonna actually work from her house today. <sighs> I'm gonna go home later on tomorrow. I mean, later on tomorrow. I'm gonna go home later on today after I finish working and stuff. But y'all, um, I'm gonna talk to y'all for a second, okay? Hopefully, I don't carry on as much. Let me see, what. how can I start it off? I'm tired of people fucking playing with me. I'm tired of people playing with my patience. I'm tired of people playing with my mind. I'm quiet. I'm silent. Like, I've been nice all my life. I get that from my mama. My mama, like, my, my mama is real, real nice, and she's let people walk all over her you know what I'm saying um let people take advantage of her kindness and niceness and I don't want to continue to be like that look I'm tired of people fucking playing with me bitch don't play with me when it comes to my motherfucking kids one thing I don't play about is my kids mm -hmm. another thing I don't play about is my motherfucking money because if I ain't got no money I can't take care of my kids and then another thing I don't play about is my time. If you waste my time, you wasting my money. Because I could be making money while you're wasting my time. And if I'm not making money, I'm not taking care of my kids. What? Throughout this entire breakup, we, we've been broken up since July. We were, I know the exact date. We ain't been a couple since July fucking 8th. Three days before my damn birthday. Ever since then, it's like he's been making my life a fucking hell. Like, he want to hurt me so bad. And... I'm not going to lie, he kind of succeeded in the beginning. You know, I was a little hurt. And, no, I'm not even much going to lie. I am hurt a little bit right now, but not because of him. It's because he playing with my child. He playing with my child. You don't, bitch, don't play with my motherfucking child. Don't disrespect me. Well, he put the cable in his name because I owe them, they ass, like, the fuck, a bitch owe them some bread or no. Um, I owe they ass, I'm gonna keep it real, I owe, owe the, um, I owe the cable company some money, and I just ain't paid it yet. I'm gonna pay it one of these days, but I, just, I ain't, you know what I'm saying, I ain't paid it yet. Um, and also the lights, we put the lights in his name. Um, which I don't really understand why we did that because we could have put the lights in my name. The pilot would have been the same and everything. Whenever he moved out, he told me that I could keep the lights and the cable in his name. Um, an incident happened a couple weeks ago, probably like two, three weeks ago. And he ended up getting mad about some dumbass shit that ain't had nothing to do with him. But he ended up getting mad and decided that he wanted to cut the cable off. He's talking about, uh... You don't need cable. You just need internet. Cause you know I need internet to work, right? He like you don't need cable. You need all you need is internet. At first he cut both of them bitches off, but I literally had to beg him to keep it on because at that time I didn't, um, I wasn't planning on getting a new cable at the time. So I was just like, just leave the cable on. I mean, just leave the internet on at least so I could work, and then eventually I'm gonna get my own stuff. Okay, I ended up getting me a new um, services, right? Because I felt like. You should have gave me a fucking warning, okay? You should have gave me a warning. You should have told me, okay, I'm cutting it. I'm cutting it off on this day, so you can pay your last month. Da da da. Cool. Whenever he noticed that the bill wasn't paid, mind you, he has never, ever, ever, fucking ever checked to see how much the bill was. Check to see if the bill was paid. None of that up until the time he got mad. Or no, up until uh. Up and yeah, up until the time he got mad and cut the services off. He has never like my. I have always. Pay my, I have always paid my bill. I have always been on time, all of that, up until now, because I'm I'm getting new services, so I'm not about to pay for some other shit that I didn't even get to use the whole month.
he texted me talking about, oh, so you, so you uh, wasn't going to pay the shit? And I'm like, um, I, first of all, I am going to pay it. I'm just not going to pay it right now. He was like, oh, so you got money to take road trips, but you can't pay this. Bitch. First of all, you don't know what the fuck in my pocket, in my wallet, on my debit card. You don't know nothing. After I was like, uh, it's going to get paid, just not right now. He was like, uh, I'm cutting the electricity off um, to then. Side note, don't ever put a bill in another nigga name. Don't ever do it. I don't care how long y'all been together. He went and he, he went, went to my Twitter. Um, yeah. he, he, well, he changed my Twitter name or whatever to where I couldn't find it, but it was still active or whatever, but he yeah. changed the name, uh, and also my Instagram changed yeah. the password and everything, so I have to fucking email Twitter and Instagram a copy With a picture of my ID. ID like this. Like, yeah, bitch, it's me. Fucked up. <laughs> I, I did end up getting it back, but um, about like a week or two after I was already at Nikki House, he had texted me again because he hacked into my motherfucking Chase account and saw that he did because mm -hmm. I had got a, I was trying to like, log into my Chase account and they told me oh too many failed attempts you got to reset your password I'm like what the fuck I didn't think nothing of it so I reset my motherfucking password and come to find out uh, later on that night he had texted me and he was uh, just Freddie Freddie texted me talking about oh so I see you could buy other stuff but you can't pay the cable bill because I first of all I wasn't paying them a cable bill he had me completely fucked up so he got mad because he thought that you know this bitch doing all of this extra shit with her money. She can't pay my motherfucking cable bill, so he got upset. And I was like, you know what? Look, I don't give a damn. I want to see my son. And so I I stepped outside and I called him and I'm like, I'm I'm about to come pick up my son. He's talking about he's sick. Okay, I'm yeah. his mother. I know how to take care of my sick child. Like, what the fuck you mean? <laughs> so, well, he's sick. I'm about to take him to the doctor tomorrow. I can take him to the doctor. That's exactly what I said. And he was still giving me a fucking run around. So, we ended up fucking getting off the phone. And Nikki was like, we going over there tomorrow. Like, to fucking tomorrow. Like, to get bitch what's Cinti. Good. Or to we get gotta go get Vitty. Yes. And yeah. so, that next day... We, Wait, but this was after because she had been asking to see the baby for right. a long time. And he wouldn't, he it wasn't just like he took the baby for one day. No, he literally took him for like a week or a, it was like know, it was two, longer. three weeks. Yeah, it was longer. Was here. When she was over here, he took the baby and she kept saying, you know, I want to see the baby. I want to see my baby and shit like that. And he basically would tell her, no, like, you ain't going to fucking see him. Like, how, bitch, I birthed it in him. <laughs> Fuck you mean I ain't going to see him. <laughs> So and we, I was breastfeeding at the time, too. Yeah, and she was breastfeeding. So we coming up with plots and plans. Mm -hmm. How the fuck we can go get it back. So on one end, I'm telling her, bitch, we can go knock on the door and run in that bitch. <laughs> and on the other hand, I'm like, well, we can call the police. You know. And have them escort us over there. But he just, he wasn't budging. She wanted to give him the benefit of the doubt. Like, okay, he's gonna, he not gonna do that to me. He gonna let me see mm -hmm. my baby. He wouldn't let her see that baby, y'all. He said, fuck no. So, you know, yeah. Nikki was like, you know what, bitch, tomorrow we're going over there. And so, uh, it was after the Because she was got, crying. She, I, yeah. Y'all, that hurt me. I just did my story time, and I just, I literally was tearing up thinking about it. Because outside of the shit she was going through personally, we was going through some other shit, mm -hmm. being lied on, all type of stupid shit behind right. this other dumb bitch, right? <laughs> Yeah, you gotta go to my channel for that mm -hmm. story time. But she was just, I just feel like she was at her lowest and she was sitting on my bed and she, um, was it on Facebook a picture of him? Um, his mama had posted a picture on her Snapchat, I believe. And she pulled a picture up on her phone and when she saw him, y'all, she just broke out crying. And that shit just hurt my soul. Like, okay, we already going through too much. What she going through way too fucking much right now and you took this girl baby like you should be ashamed of your damn self we we just go get this baby 
So we had to go get the baby. Up. We did. So that next day, we pulled up. Well, first, we didn't actually go. Well, he, we went in the neighborhood where because he was with his mama at the time, Freddie. He was staying with his mama. That's where my baby was. Well, that's where I knew my baby was. And he wasn't working either at the time, so I knew he was always fucking home. So we pulled up into a neighborhood like behind his mom's neighborhood, and he was. Um, we had called the cops. Well, I called the cops. And um, so the little, it was like a fat black man or whatever. He looked retarded as fuck. He's anyway. like, we can't go and take the baby because y'all don't have paperwork. Yeah, is he on a birth certificate? I'm like, no. He's like, well, is that his daddy biologically? I'm like, no. I don't know. No. I, I, don't know. <laughs> I had a lie. I ain't gonna lie. I'm like, I, look, sir, I don't even know if that's his real daddy or not. Because you know, if it's not his baby, they can immediately go get the baby. So we had a lot of police to the police and be like, no, that ain't his baby. We need to go get the baby. But, it, you know, he is the daddy. He's the daddy. He's the daddy. So the police was like, I'm like, well, can you just escort us over there? Because he kept saying, I can't make him give you the baby. So I'm like, okay, go. And then when you see him, pick him up and bring him to the car. Because he not just to try to fight on you or grab the baby away from you if the police right here. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, can you just escort us over there then? So he was like, sure, I can go over there to try to talk to him. So we leave and we go and we pull up. What is his girlfriend there? Girl, yeah. You take a bitch bed and got a whole bitch at your mama house. Boy, you pussy as fuck. What the fuck wrong with him? Girl. He was gonna put the bed in the backyard so he could sleep with his, his new girlfriend. Girl. Pissed me off. So what happened after that? We were in, the, uh, in your car and we, we didn't pull directly. Up. The police officer did pulled directly in that motherfucking drive driveway, and mind you, the neighborhood that they lived in, they had always had like a lot of kids, a lot of people outside or whatever, and there was buku people outside at the time. And so uh, Nikki pulled up, uh, like, how can I explain it? Like, this is Mama Street right here, and there's another street like connected or whatever. But she pulled up on the street like that was almost to his mama house. Cause his mom's house uh, was like at the very end of the well, at the beginning of the street. So yeah, it was yeah. the corner house. Right. So Nikki was like, okay, bitch. So cause I had saw my son. I'm like, oh my god, Nikki. And I saw first of all, your sick baby is outside with no shoes right. and a football. He's sick. Or was it right. a basketball? It was a ball. It was, it was something. Yeah, it was a ball. Yeah, I think it was, it was probably a basketball. I don't know. But he was outside with a fucking shirt on and a, and pampers with no fucking shoes on. And I'm like, oh my god, Nikki, is he out? I see him, I see him. <laughs> she was so happy. And she was like, all right, so what you gonna do? What you told me? I'm like, when you see him, just walk up to him, pick him up, and bring him to the car. Don't look back. Yeah, don't look back. He can't fight, try to fight you in front of the police officer. So she's like, okay, cool. So the police officer, he's walking up first. Angie walking behind the police officer. So she immediately go pick the baby up, bring him, and bring him back to the car while the police Mommy, officer talking to him. I was cute, cute that day. I had my yeah. black curly hair and all of that. I made sure I was cute that day. Yep. Yeah. So she pick him up, bring him to the car, and then go back over there. It was a it was a whole bunch of fucking people out there. Yeah. Like, bitch, if we would have been fighting, we would have got jumped. <laughs> we would have yeah. got jumped. Like, what the fuck? It was a lot of people out there. I think his mama was out his there. His mama, his all his his mama and his siblings, and he you know he got like. Six siblings, so yeah. all of them was out there, including the neighborhood kids and stuff. And his new girlfriend. And his, exactly, his new girlfriend was out there. And so after I went, walked back to Nikki's car and put Santiago in his car seat, I walked back up there, you know, because the police officer had already uh, started talking to Freddie and, you know, his people, whatever. And so I walked back up there, and Freddie was like, we could have talked this out. He was shook nigga. at the bitch. <laughs> my nigga, I, I said, I called you yesterday, and you told me that I could not see my son. So, therefore, I did try to talk to you. Don't, yeah. no, sir, absolutely not. And so, he was, he was, he had this dumbass look on his face, like, this is bitch really this bitch. Like, I am so fucking surprised. And I surprised his ass that day. And his mama, uh, his mama said something. I forgot what his mama said. I, I really don't remember what his mama said, but his mama said something. And um, everybody was just like surprised, you know, because at, at that point, Santiago was gone. And I don't know if they knew. I'm more than sure they knew there was Nikki up there because I would have to walk back to the car. Bitch, I was sitting in front of the car. Like, like Nikki would. Mm -hmm. Bitch. Bitch, <laughs> I'll fight all y'all. I don't give a fuck. And so the police officer basically was explaining to um, Freddie that, you know, even though y'all got a child together, like. Y'all need to work this shit out. Basically. Right. She she has a right to take take y'all son just as well as you do. I mean, I can't tell her because he was trying to get the police officer to, like, give me, give uh, my son back to him. And he was like, I can't do that. I mean, legally. 
she has the right to do that. So if she want to take her son, then that's exactly what she she could do, basically. Yeah. So I left, and immediately after I left, y'all when she I changed her number, number. y'all it was like I could just. She was, <laughs> my mind. she was so like, relieved picking that baby up, y'all. That's I, the worst I feeling ever want. if you a mom and you have right. kids and your baby being took from you and, then, and you don't know what's going on. Either. And I was, like I said, I was breastfeeding. That's another thing I told uh, the police officer. I'm like, sir, I don't even know if my child is eating at this point because I've been breastfeeding yeah. him for so and so amount of time. Yeah. And my boobs hurt. <laughs> <laughs> my titties hurt. And my son need to fucking eat. So. <laughs> <laughs> you know how your titties hurt when it's milk in there. Hell yeah, yeah. That should be hurting. Hurting like fuck. So yeah, true shit. As we um, after we you know drove off, I immediately changed my fucking number. Yeah. Because you can't call, you can't contact me. And so what happened was before I got my son back, I had actually filed for child support, not because I wanted to get his fucking money. Let's be clear, because I got money, bitch. So, it wasn't Shit. because I wanted his money. It was because I knew that if I would have filed for child support, then it would it would have been some type of custody agreement. Because yeah. at that point, he wasn't allowing me to see my son. And I wasn't going to keep my son away from him either. But we need some type of agreement because at this, I don't trust you no more. I, I couldn't trust him. So, yeah. uh, I think we had a court date like that next month or whatever. And so, I went to court. And I, this was me. I had already went back home. Probably maybe I stayed with Nikki probably like a week or so more before I went back home with the kids and so uh, I went to court and stuff like that September and long story short I thought he wasn't gonna fucking he show up he got his motherfucking <laughs> shit right you know uh -huh. that he I showed shit. up he was there before me I was like fuck cause I was hoping he wasn't gonna be there cause you know some niggas don't give a fuck about that but Freddie loves his child just as well as I love my child too. Yeah, so you can't take that shit from him. He's a good ass dad. Yeah. He he was tripping before. You know, he all make mistakes or whatever, but look, that day, that time. <laughs> shit. He is, he is. Okay, so he a good daddy. It's just he let he fucked up the. You know how niggas are. They fuck up a relationship mm -hmm. and don't want you to move the fuck on. They want you to be stuck with their ass all the time. Feels you know, but they don't have nothing to do as far with parenting. He just let the relationship get in the middle mm -hmm. of the baby. So he we had to get the fucking courts and the fucking laws involved to make him yep. shook it. He had to be shook, bitch, okay? Yep. To be known, Angie ain't the one to play with. Hell fucking no. And so, that day, yeah. we went to the child support office. I ended up closing, well, I ended up telling the lady that, uh, like, I don't want no money. I just want, you know, an agreement, but we still have to go to court. So she like, well, I still got to set up a court date or whatever. So I walked out the child support office, and I was waiting for my ride at the time because my car was in the shop. Well, yeah, my car was, my car was broke at the time, so... Uh, I was waiting for my ride to come pick me up. And I see his motherfucking car. I was in a building next door to the building that we have to go in for the child support stuff. And so I'm thinking I'm about to get away from him because they called me in there first. They didn't call us in there together. They called me in there first. And then they called him in there. So he wasn't even in there for that long. By the time I went downstairs in the other building, he walked in the same building because I assumed he saw where I was walking at. And so I was like, fuck, I don't want to fucking talk to him. But we ended up talking and coming up with an, with an agreement to have our uh, son 50-50. Like, I have him a week, he has him a week. Basically, I have him two weeks out the month, he has him two weeks out the month. 50 yeah. fucking 50. And, um... Because she moved. Yeah. And he didn't know where she moved to. Right, right. And he wasn't going to find out where I moved to either. Because I was fucking shit. I was scared. Like, nigga, so you crazy yeah. as fuck. <clears throat> so, um... They end up cl closing a child support case or whatever. I don't get child support for neither one of my kids. Don't need it. But first of all, bitch. First of all, yeah. bitch. <laughs> you ain't fucking knock us up. So why the fuck right. you worry? Let us be pregnant. Fucking congratulate. And move on. Because ain't that one of you little dusty foot assholes mm -hmm. paying no bills. So any bitch that got something to say, we your mother. Okay, bitch? So <laughs> we fucking you. your daddy too. Mm -hmm. Fuck wrong with y'all. But yeah. any bitches over here watching that know they don't like us. And you still watching to get that tea? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, bitch. But kiss our ass, too. We talking about all, them hoes. all them hoes above. Thank you. Bitch, if you think we don't like you, we don't like you. Mm -hmm. Bitch. You thought right. Fuck you thought. 
So keep your fucking comments to yourself. Don't be wishing no demons on our kids and our babies. Because look at our pregnancy glow. We fucking cute. <laughs> like, like, aren't we? Yeah. We're going to be like, due next year and shit. You better yeah. leave us alone. Fuck wrong with them. So that basically really was a story. Now we good. I haven't had. That was the only problem that I've had with Freddie. And we never had problems since. Like, even his girlfriend, they still together. And, you know, oh, they still together? Yeah. She's still together or whatever That's and nice. stuff. That's nice. And we got a cool relationship. You know, anytime, you know, I want to, well, like, besides our week that we have, we have a, you know, a verbal agreement. We don't, it's not with the courts. And so for all you bitches out here who like to keep they, you know, baby father away from their kids, you dumb as fuck, especially if they yeah. going to take care. You know, you like, you dumb. You fucking dumb. I, I That's lame. Like that. You're whack. Really, you want to be a single mother? That's <laughs> Bitch, you chose to be a single yeah. mother. Yeah, yeah. But, but we got Ziddy back. You want? You want come, come on, come on, Ziddy. Yeah, come let tell him what happened. He's so emotional. He misses his sister. He, she has school right now. Tell him what happened, Ziddy. Come on. <laughs> Ziddy, 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 Ziddy. Don't cry. Look at the baby. camera. Say hi. <laughs> You want the dog? I'm gonna go get the dog. You want the dog? Yeah. He want my dog, y'all. I'm taking you to go see the dog. Okay, so I had to come in and be in this video, but I'm just taking my daddy to see the dog. Come on, because he's crying. Yeah, let's go see the dog. But thank y'all so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to comment and all of that. Y'all do that any fucking way. But don't forget to subscribe to Nikki. J Beauty's channel because like y'all these four times that she got on her channel y'all thought mine look she got some real motherfucking tea on her stuff so go and subscribe I will put her link in the description box and you know y'all know what to do if you not subscribed already to my channel go ahead and fucking subscribe because this is the place to be subscribed to and Nikki J Beauty is the place to be subscribed to so you gotta tell them. <laughs> Thank y'all so much for watching, and I'm gonna see y'all in um my next video. Look at our pregnancy girl. Show me my pregnancy girl real girl. quick. We just pregnant in this new baby coming. For what? Baby Marvie. Baby no more. Yeah, oh, yeah you, you still the baby. Yeah, you, you still the baby. Oh. <laughs> Bye, y'all. I was about to the door. Well, I look in the peephole, and it's Freddy. And I'm like, what the fuck is he doing here? Like, what the fuck? As soon as I open the door, he goes, You got me fucked up. I'm about to take my motherfucking bed. Let me uh come get my bed because you're not about to be fucking no niggas in my bed. What the fuck are you talking about? Like, you, first of all, you let me have this bed. Like, you've been knowing that I had another nigga. But now that you see me 